I was born in Israel, a son of a family of refugees from Germany. Um, I always wanted to be part uh, of the Israeli Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Uh, I studied international relations in the Hebrew University, and then I joined the Ministry of Foreign Affairs about 31 years ago. And so this is uh, roughly my background. Uh, I've been specializing for many years in South Asia, and my uh, posting here in Azerbaijan as ambassador of Israel is in fact my first experience with the Caucasus area. I think that for an Israeli who arrives to Azerbaijan and is exposed to the fascinating history of the Jewish people that has arrived here according to some legends on, uh, just after 720 before Christ according to the uh, legends and may maybe even a bit later but it's a long history and these people, the Jewish people that arrived here never suffered any, uh, any un sign of anti-Semitism neither from the population nor from the uh, various regimes that uh, ruled the countries. And bearing in mind that Azerbaijan uh, had a very dramatic history, uh, millennia of uh, conflicts and invasions, it's really remarkable that the Jewish people were, were really accepted in, as part of pars and parcel of the Azerbaijani society. So what I want to say is that uh, for Azerbaijan, and this is my impression that is uh, getting strengthened all the time, uh, multiculturalism and tolerance is not some ideas that are imported from outside, imposed by uh, outside rulers, but it's something that is deeply ingrained in the psyche of the Azeri people, in the very core value of the societies, and is also strengthened by the uh, government of this country. Uh, Azerbaijan has one advantage, and one disadvantage when it comes to tourism from Israel. The big advantage is that you have a very uh, strong population from Azeri origin that serves as advocators of the wonders that can be found in Azerbaijan. On the, uh, on the disadvantages side, uh, sadly there is no um, Azeri embassy in Israel that can promote this uh, tourism or any uh, that can take, for any, take care of any consistent and uh, continuous efforts to promote uh, Azerbaijan tourism. And you know that uh, the international tourism is uh, a very uh, competitive market and uh, whoever makes effort wins the tourism. Azerbaijan has a huge potential. First, people are here are very friendly. Secondly, you have a very fascinating her heritage. Thirdly, the food is excellent. Fourth, you have uh, wonderful sceneries, nature, you have different uh, sceneries close to each other, desert and green mountains, snow-capped mountains and uh, rich valleys, and all this combination promise a lot. Obviously, it's needed to be campaigned consistently in my home country in order to attract more tourism. Having said that, I see that there is a, a surge, a continuous surge in the number of tourists coming from Israel. I heard about a number of a group groups that are going to explore the country and I think it's a very good sign and it's a result of the good work that is done by Azal in Israel. I fully understand the importance of the relations of Azerbaijan with Armenia around the conflict that includes Nagorno-Karabakh plus seven other districts that are completely or partially controlled by Armenia for the time being. The uh, position of Israel is very clear about it. Israel supports the territorial integrity of Azerbaijan. Based on our own experience in trying to resolve uh, conflicts, including territorial conflicts with our neighbors, we support uh, negotiations between the side, a peaceful resolution, resolution of all the pending questions between the sides. Uh, and in this regard, we support the efforts of the Minsk group, uh, co-chaired by the three countries, to bring about a peaceful resolution of the conflict. We strongly believe that the only way to solve the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is through direct negotiations between the side, uh, negotiations that are result-oriented and done bona fide by both sides. 
uh, successive prime ministers in Israel supported and still support the uh, two-state solutions, which mean a Palestinian state living uh, side by side uh, next to Israel. Uh, sadly, the Palestinian side uh, was always looking for excuses to avoid any negotiations and rather than go to Jerusalem or any other place to have direct negotiations with Israel, uh, the head of the Palestinian um, Authority preferred to go to Geneva in Europe and everywhere else in the globe in order to uh, uh, incite and instigate against Israel, uh, activate international organization, uh, try to um, uh, pass a very biased resolution in international bodies using uh, the automatic uh, majority that he enjoyed in certain international forums. But we don't think that this is the right way to proceed. Uh, we think that uh, if there is a genuine uh, uh, will in the Palestinian side to solve the, the conflict which has been lingering for decades for the benefit of both people, Israeli people and uh, Palestinian people, it should, uh, it should be done through direct negotiations. Uh, having said that, uh, uh, the Prime Minister of Israel uh, uh, said clearly that uh, the root cause of this, uh, the uh, problem of the conflict is a continuous rejection of, uh, from, the, of the side, from the side of the Palestinian, the notion of uh, Israel as a nation home of the Jewish people. Uh, as the Palestinians keep on rejecting this, uh, this uh, fact, uh, I am afraid that it will be very hard to get the progress on these negotiations. As you know, in our system there is a separation between the constitutional body, which is the Knesset, our parliament, and the government. And every member of Knesset can raise his own motion and uh, demand that it will be discussed on the floor. And the position of the government of Israel is very clear about it. We think that uh, the tragedy that occurred uh, about over 100 years ago in uh, the Ottoman Empire regarding Armenian nationals is a case that should be uh, in, uh, investigated and researched promptly by historians. It is a historical question, it should not be involved in, uh, into, it should not be dragged into political debate. Israel attached importance uh, to uh, embatter the relations with Turkey and uh, indeed uh, Israel uh, did a lot of efforts to come to terms with Turkey to uh, bring back the relations on track. Uh, Israel had, have, has had for decades very good relations with Turkey and obviously we are interested in continuation of these relations, especially after recently an agreement was uh, reached between the two sides about reconciliation and we are looking forward to the um, for, to move forward in the reconciliation process. I don't think it, uh, our relation with Turkey has anything to do with uh, between rapprochement between Turkey and Russia. Obviously, we, we welcome every uh, improvement of relations between two countries, but it doesn't affect our relations with Turkey or Russia. With both countries, we have good relations. Indeed, uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu expressed his uh, willingness and desire to, to visit Baku. And as it has been agreed upon, it will, the uh, coordination of the visit will be done through diplomatic channel. Uh, once we uh, find a mutually convenient time for the visit, uh, there will be an announcement on that. But certainly, uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu uh, desire reflects the excellent relations between Israel and Azerbaijan, and especially the very uh, uh, good relations between uh, President Aliyev and Prime Minister Netanyahu. They met each other in, interna in the sideline of international forums and always have excellent uh, discussions.